Morning, Ed. How are you doing? Morning, sir. How are you doing? I'm very good. And I understand you brought something slightly out of the ordinary this morning, not your typical supercar to this P1 Supercar Sunday. Tell us a little bit more about what you've brought along. Well, I think this car is actually quite super. It is the casual loafer. It's the world's first driving street legal sofa car. Street legal? Absolutely. you got to be joking. No, 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 because we had to drive all the way down here from Bracknell and uh, actually even... also set the world record for fastest furniture at 87 miles an hour. So we can, you know, bimble on the motorways if we have. That thing does 87 miles an hour? It certainly has done. <laughs> <laughs> do you have racing harnesses or something to strap you in? You do have seat belts, of course. You'd have to have that to be legal on the road, of course, yeah. obviously. Like we have a speedo in the clock, of course. We have indicators <laughs> hidden in the flower pots there as well. And then on the, on the controls here, actually quite interesting. You've got the pizza pan for the steering wheel. The Guinness can is for the uh, the well, brake. The Guinness gets my vote. Well, yeah, that's, well, that's for the brake, <laughs> yep. of course, because that's the foot okay. brake controlled with your hand. And then, of right. course, you've got the uh, the chocolate bar there is for the gears. The Turkish delight. Because, like, oh, Turkish delight. Like, we're like, having, uh, having a laugh, even. So, Turkish bath, <laughs> having a laugh. Yeah. Yeah. So, when has this gone into production? Well, that's the next thing. Yeah, we're just now currently designing the pre-production sort of prototypes. So, they're, they're going to have uh, front wheels underneath the coffee table. They're going to have all kinds of fun toys like beer coolers in the wings we're going to have storage for change things like helmets and waterproofs because obviously if you do get caught in the rain at the moment it's, it's very a little bit wet yeah. so there's gonna be a few more toys on the new one hopefully they're going to be ready later on this year and then the new production version should be ready for next year you're completely crazy but if i wanted to try and say make it a little bit more bespoke to my particular taste yep. could i spec a for example lazy boy with the freezer fridge for the beers in the side pocket well pretty much i mean basically every new sofa is going to be just like a snowflake no two will be the same so even if you want six identical ones, they have to be subtly different somehow. So okay. actually, you can choose all the colours and the sort of the various textures. I guess the shape will be pretty much the same, but also everything else will be customizable. So we're designing it especially so you can pretty much have everything in any particular style or colour or flavour you like. Wow, okay, that sounds amazing. And how does one go about ordering one? Well, you have to come and have a look at or come and see us really either at Comfy right. Banana or at Grease Junk. We have a new sort of garage business over in Bracknell. Right. So uh, if you and then probably just Google sofa car, it'll come up. You'll find us. Now, as you can see, Marco, these are very comfortable, aren't they? I'm getting to quite like this, Ed. Yeah, I, uh, I never thought I'd be saying this, but yeah, it's um, I like the speedo, which is obviously the clock. But um, the only thing I've got a slight apprehension about is when you're driving along the motorway, mm -hmm. what kind of speed do you get up to? Well, obviously, you can do the speed limit. It should be 70 miles an hour. You can go 87 miles an hour if you want to. I think the in theory. One, in theory, of course. And then the new ones are going to be able to go even faster because we have to get our record back. So uh, maybe I think we're going to do a really, really sporty version. It might do about 120. So on that basis, then, we could have one of these on the P1 fleet. I think even just a few would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, let's start with one okay, and uh, right, work well, it up from there. I think that's a deal, don't you? <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> deal is done. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I kind of thought it was going to be like rock hard, but it is like a proper sofa. Well, this is like a, well the new ones are going to be even better because they're going to have heated seats. They're going to have massage seats as well, which would be rather nice. So they're going to be pretty comfortable. <laughs> you are full <laughs> on crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at a I'm looking. It is a long way to travel, particularly when you're freezing your ass off. But it's kind of nice. I mean, it's gutted we didn't actually get around to doing the gumball this year because it'd be quite good fun. But we're going to next year. Hopefully, we're going to drive across America is our plan. We're supposed to be doing that right now, actually. But uh, Imagine the Texas Rangers. Hey, boy, what are you driving it's kind of the, the Deep South might be dangerous, It frankly, might be so tricky. I think, I, think, um, <laughs> well, I, mean, I think then once we've done the States, we should do it around the world. That would be kind of fun. But we're going to do tours of these. So the idea is we already do <laughs> kind of like kind of wacky race days, which is quite fun. The world's wackiest races experience day. But we're going to then do, once we've got the new sofas, the idea is, we you know, you sort of basically hire a sofa before, so again, we obviously makes more yeah. sense for the business. Um, you're probably gonna have maybe five or six of them, and then we're just gonna do like, you know, the tours of the greatest roads of Europe and all that kind of stuff. And then the idea is this coffee table piece here is actually gonna be removable. So that obviously <laughs> you have like your route, and then you have like, you know, photos and stuff. Okay. And photos as you go. So once you finish the tour, then you can actually, then you that you get that as part of your deal. So you actually get your, your coffee table in there, and you can hang that up in your garage as one of the missions you've actually completed. So it should be quite good fun. And of course I could spec it in for Micah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Imitation for Micah, whatever you want. <laughs> totally bespoke. Walnut dashboard, maybe even solar panels to charge the batteries up. Whatever you want, you can do that. That's fantastic. <laughs> what do you reckon, guys? It's brilliant, I want one. <laughs> it's the only way to travel, really. But, um, <laughs> and so they were hence the, I need that. <laughs> yeah, well, this used to be real, but they, so they used to keep getting nicked. It used to be. Yeah, because this is actually a Pizza Hut uh, medium pan okay. pizza. And for about nine years, I think maybe even ten years, we used to get real pizzas. And after about a month, they'd start looking pretty ropey. 
But then, you know, you go into London or whatever, it's just the best, well, that's why it's called the casual loafer, because it's dodgy rhyming slang for something. Yeah, yeah, I got that. And, uh, yeah. you know, and the thing was, you know, the street urchins would come and kind of nick the pizza or whatever it is, and I don't know how many kids we've killed. <laughs> you know, Road poison. kill! Yeah, it's, it's, it's not cool. So I thought, well, now we have to have a fake one. Also, the other problem with, with pizzas, when you go about 80 odd miles an hour, yeah. they tend to, the real ones tend to fly, fly off. off. So you know, yeah, that's you know, it. Fact, yeah. So this one, because it's actually made up this kind of mad resin stuff, it's a little bit heavier. Okay, yeah, you don't want to end up worrying the pizza, do you? No, it's not, it's not a good look. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to ask you some technical things. Yeah, sure. Hiya. Let's go this way, I think so. There we go. Yeah, you can go up and go right around. Uh, has it got four wheels? It has got four wheels. I mean, this is an ironic thing, actually. Originally on a build, it had three wheels. The, the yeah, wheel that's what I from, assumed. Um, a Robin Reliant. And yeah, okay. it was a little bit squiffy. We did a race up at Donington. Okay. <laughs> and we did a pre-race for publicity and, I, and I had our asses sort of kicked by yeah. some, a skip with a turbo. Oh, I can't and have so that. I wasn't having any of that. No, no. It was obviously a bit squiffy. So I then uh, had three days that week, I then put four wheels onto it. Okay. And uh, we managed to beat him on the last corner. <laughs> uh, we had two wheels actually over the, uh, on the edge of the circuit, which was fantastic. And um, so it's a classic, classic finish. Um, but then I tried to tell the DVLA and they said, no, 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 it's a three-wheeler. I said, no, no, it really is a four-wheeler. And they said, no, no, it's a three-wheeler. We've got it on our record. So it's like, yeah. fine, and whatever. So now it's a, a, a four-wheel three-wheeler. Right, guess, okay. You know, one day, uh, I guess we made And engine-wise? It's an engine-wise. It's based on an A-series Mini, 30 Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it used to be fuel injection, which is how we did the 87 <clears> miles right. now. Currently, it's just one out of a Metro. Uh, we tend to keep okay. them up. Actually, the, what, the 1300 one, we were doing uh, some... Well, you, what about the A series that was in the old MGA? That's an A well, series. Well, then the gearbox would be in the wrong place because okay. it's automatic. Ah, right. There's one less uh, ah, to worry okay. about. Actually. So the thing is, the uh, we were doing a, an event at um, the Nurburgring. And, yeah. Uh, it was the Truck Grand Prix, and obviously whenever they crash a truck, we would then have a bit of a bit of a laugh <laughs> whizzing around. I, was, I did a perfect donut on the start finish line. It was yes! there. Yes. You see it on the pit walk of the Formula <laughs> One. It was fantastic. <laughs> until some French bloke in a truck uh, scrapped it out, but uh, okay. we actually broke the diff, the diff okay. and then I had to get a new engine and gearbox because it was quicker. So if it's a, an A-series engine out of a Mini, does that mean you can uh, like soup it up basically using all the John Cooper work stuff? Absolutely, we could we could check it out. The only problem is that the gearboxes aren't really that strong, okay. so, so that's one of the issues. But that's I've got a friend who's doing an air, sh an air shifter, they're using on the new McLarens yeah. and the, 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 the Le Mans Porsches and Audis and stuff. So I think I might actually then put that on so we can use a normal gear stick, you know, like Fantastic. a shift, be, and then we could go much stronger than you. Sounds good to me. The paddle shifter on a sofa is a bit, a bit tarty, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the thing is, you can go pretty much anywhere with this car. Quite nice I was just about to say, and we're, uh, the next the next edition will be the off-roader. <laughs> off well, actually, yeah. the new ones are going to be four-wheel drive. Because, You're uh, joking, No, I figured that might be the way forward, and then I'm, once I've got that sussed, um, <laughs> they're going to be electric, uh, the new ones, and, or hybrid, at least. Um, and then the idea is, of course, then, because I really am a fan of the amphibian, the next one will then Do you know, the you read my mind, because as we went past the lake, I was uh, gonna, just about to say to you, wouldn't it be really cool as if we went to the lake, we just drove into the lake? Absolutely. Yeah. No, and I think it's just something, I, and ever since I did a show a while ago, we had to go on an empty car. Right. Awesome, awesome little thing. I mean, yeah. it, it, it's almost hopeless on the road. I was going to say that's always a problem because yeah. it's such a big compromise, it's, it's isn't terrible. it? But I think well, the Aquada was actually quite, oh, just was around here. Yeah. The, the Aquada um, was quite a good effort. It's a shame they're not, I don't know what's happened to them. I guess they've been sold to the military and that's the yeah. last thing them. But, you know, my, my mission is to actually t do a proper, practical and useful you know, amphibian. But I thought, well, why not start with a totally impractical, useless amphibian <laughs> in the form of a sofa? Because it just Cause it doesn't matter after that. No, it's an amazing way to go traveling. I mean, you know, you're cruising around, everybody's looking at you. So it's like the world's on yeah. Prozac, which is yeah. brilliant. But also <laughs> you kind of, it gets you, you know, opens doors. I mean, you know, it's a really fantastic way to meet people. You get new friends, yeah. you know, it is a wonderful thing. So it's, it's quite a great experience, really. It is the only way to travel. It I is now the only way, way to travel. <laughs>